In this video, I'm going to show you how to burn over 5,000 logs per hour. So whenever you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax, and enjoy. For more RuneScape guides, content, and news, be sure to subscribe. The item we're going to be talking about in this video is the Pitch Can, an item obtained from the charged training cave or bought at the Grand Exchange. When filled, this item has 2,000 charges at the maximum and will allow you to burn logs more quickly on bonfires and portable braziers. However, it will also allow you to light fires instantly on the floor, allowing for incredibly fast fire making training. Here's a clip of me lighting logs on the floor without the use of a Pitch Can. As you can see, it's a little bit clunky and it feels slow. Here's a clip of me lighting logs on the floor using a pitch can. As you can see, I can keep walking and I keep lighting those logs instantly. This will allow me to use significantly more logs per hour at the cost of some experience per log, as for whatever reason, you seem to gain less when using a pitch can. Also worth noting that if you spam the light option without a pitch can, you actually end up dropping a bunch of logs on top of your fires, which isn't exactly optimal either. Now you're probably wondering how I'm able to light these logs so quickly, because you might be thinking lighting logs on the floor requires you to right click and then left click light. Well, not exactly. In your gameplay settings, you're able to turn on one button gameplay. What this setting does is it removes the need for you to right click anything as you can left click, then move your mouse and left click again to use something or do something in the game. But then you have another problem because you're not able to left click and spam the logs in your action bar unless you move your action board to the bottom part of your screen. And this took me about 10 minutes to figure out. Now, if you don't like clicking your mouse, you can actually turn this into you just button mashing a single button by going into your Windows settings, searching for ease of access mouse settings, and then turning on mouse keypad controls. After you've done that, you'll be able to spam your left click mouse button RuneScape using the five key on your numpad. Okay, so you now know what the pitch can is and how to spam light logs, but where are you going to be doing this? Well, you need a location in which you can use a lot of logs when walking from west to east, which always happens when lighting a log. There are plenty of locations in which you can do this, and I checked them all by using a timer and seeing how long it would take me to go from west all the way to the furthest tile to the east, but by far the best location apart from the wilderness was this location in the desert. For reference, the excelled Culphite entrance is right there, we're north of Menaforce and south of the Bandit Camp Lodestone and that desert treasure pyramid. When orientating yourself, use this little bit of sand that is sticking out in the water and stand at the southern part so where I'm standing right here. When lighting logs from west to east here, you'll have a grand total of 203 unobstructed tiles, which sounds like way too much, but don't forget that protein logs exist. The two main reasons as to why this location is best is because one, it has a huge amount of tiles, more than the wilderness spot I just showed you, and unlike the wilderness, you're able to use a power burst of acceleration to yeet yourself all the way back to the front after lighting the entire line of 203 tiles. Be warned though that because you're lighting logs using the single button gameplay option, you're going to need to right click your power burst of acceleration before being able to use it. So right click and then drink it. By using this method, you'll be able to do a run of 203 logs in only 2 minutes and 20 seconds, meaning you'll be able to do 5,220 protein logs per hour, which is a base experience rate of 2.152 million experience per hour, which is by far the best fire making experience in the game. And remember that if you're doing this on double experience weekend, that means you're getting 4.3 million fire making experience per hour. And you should be using proteins on double XP weekend or double XP live, I mean, because that's when you're getting the most value per protein, because they are quite limited in supply. Now, you might have also noticed me getting different experience per log in the video. Just pay attention for a couple seconds to the XP drops and you'll see what I mean. The reason I'm getting more experience every now and then is because I'm using this item, the Pyromatic, with the Tinker 4 Invention Perk, which has a 20% chance to increase the experience gained from the action I'm doing by 25%. Meaning every one in five logs, I will get a 25% experience boost for that log, effectively increasing my experience per hour by 5%. And there are many more boosts you could use, most notably the Flame Gloves and Ring of Fire, giving you another base 5% experience boost when using them as a set. Now, if you happen to have fire making brawling gloves, you can use them in the deep wilderness past defense to gain four times the amount of experience per log until you run out of charges. 
villagers. This can be increased even more by having the tier 4 infernal puzzle box giving you 4.25 times the experience per lot. This means you'd be getting over 9 million experience per hour for a short period of time until those gloves run out of charges. Alright, going back to the desert method, if you're going to be doing this from levels 99 to 120, you're going to need to have 221,238 protein logs without any boosts. If you're doing on double XP, you only need half of those, and it will only take you about 21.2 hours. Now, I'm aware that not everyone has that many protein logs, and you can still do this using regular logs as well, but in that case, you're going to need to have a location near a bank. The best location to do this, in my opinion, is in Prif, near the Treyahern district. This method is exactly the same thing, except you need to adjust your action bar a little bit, because the regular logs don't have a convert option, so you need to place your action bar a little bit lower. You're also going to need to have a Beast of Burden Familiar, preferably a Pack Mammoth, filled up with logs, and a Crystal Teleport Seed, either the Attuned version or the regular version, to teleport back to Treyahern to then bank, load your preset, and continue the process. A couple of tips related to setting up this method. Change your familiar left click option to the take a BOB option in your settings. Then drag the familiar icon onto your action bar and keybind it. And keybind your teleport seed with the number 0, as then you can simply double tap 0 to teleport to the bank. And all there is to it is to spam lighting your logs with that one button gameplay explained earlier, except now you also have to tap the keybind every now and then to grab more logs from your familiar, and at the end teleport to the bank and load your preset every 58 logs. This version is still 4,524 logs per hour, which will still get you over 1.3 million base experience per hour when using regular magic logs, 1.375 million experience per hour using corrupt magic logs, and 1.86 million experience per hour using elder logs, but don't use those because those are way too expensive. Now I said earlier that the pitch can only has 2,000 charges, which means if you're using 4 to 5,000 logs per hour, you're going to need around 2 to 3 of these things per hour filled up. While you can keep buying filled versions on the Grand Exchange, it's very expensive and they are very rare in supply because basically no one is selling them. It took me a whole week to buy one 50% over the GE price at 25 mil. You can buy an empty one which is a rare drop from the charged training cave and fill it up yourself or fill up your own once empty. You can do that by doing the charge training cave, and you'll be able to fill up this thing in like 8 to 10 minutes. As for every completed shape at this little minigame thing, which I'm making X's for, you get 100 points or charges. It's worth noting that this area is good fire making experience itself, but also requires a quest called the Fire Maker's Curse, which will take you about 45 minutes to complete. Oh, and before I forget, you can also use the pitch can to simply increase your experience per hour when throwing a logs on a brazier by about 11 to 12 percent with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting if you did leave a like down below and maybe even consider subscribing and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace